So we're walking down this little alleyway side street, industrial bunch of garages behind us and service stations of all different kinds um, to look at this place here. Um, Walter told us about it and told us we should check it out. He was uh, also instrumental in designing this as well. He says it, it's uh, a bunch of old land that's contaminated that they put a bunch of boats on. And it looked like that, that boat here is the gallery. Yeah. De Cuvel. I don't know if you could see that in the sun. But uh, that's the placement of the structures on this little land. There's a greenhouse, there's some kind of metabolic lab. So this is really unique here. Let's go check it out, guys. They said it was a restaurant too. These boats. Hello. Hi. Oh, what is the name of the works? It's made with different tools. W O R K S. Oh. It's really neat. Really, really cool. These are the old boats here, just welded together. Wow, so interesting. And there's a cross section, cut the boat right in half. And look, they're, the hulls are just sitting right on the contaminated soil. So unique. This is absolutely stunning. Sustainable stunning. There you go. Rainwater harvesting. So awesome. Wow, look at that house. This is so interesting. taking you on a tour here. Not sure where it's going, but it just keeps getting better and better. And you know, we, like I was saying before, we are in an industrial area here. Um, where these homes in the distance is where we just were, Ava and I. Yeah, that's where we just were, where that white van is. And then he told us to come over here because he was, uh, he helped to design the restaurant that we just walked by. How do you like the bench? Oh, there's people in here. That's where they live.
Have you ever seen anything like this, honey? No, but I've been reading these posts here and they have, each, each one of them has a, a, a information about their systems. This one is a water management. We are investigating novel approaches to urban waste water management. Office boats are now connected to the sewer and consume 75% less water than conventional offices. This is due to the following. We are using dry, dry compost toilets and we are processing wastewater from kitchen sink and decentralized biofiltration system adjacent to the offices. Once purified, water then can be discharged in the ground for irrigation. And then follow the sustainable road, follow the sustainable road. Da 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 Wow, nice, nice. This is just so unique. Wow. So cool. I just love the concept, the community aspect of it. What is De Couvel? It was built on a plot of land formerly used a shipyard. The land was secured for a 10 year lease. Nice. So they're cleaning the soil with plants as well. A natural form of remediation. Uh, I, yeah, I shot the video on it and read a little bit about it. So this is the end of the sustainable road. What a great little adventure. Wow. Was not expecting this thing greener. So, uh, very neat. Very, very neat. Oh, there's more. There's another sustainable path. <laughs> Little bench. <laughs> so neat. Some old clogs. How cool. So it's definitely an educational community as well. And the workshop, that's a cool name.
So incredible. Oh, the water system and the wood shop and the tumbler. Nice. Is he talking about the Patrick? Yeah, it looks like they're doing a, a tour. Mm -hmm. I, um, so what, tell me what your thoughts are going through your mind right now. I mean, this is, uh, I'm trying to process it as, and as I was reading more information, it's really incredible. So this was the winning project of a group of architects. Uh, it's like a pilot. Yeah, they just, and Walter was one of the architects. Right, and they were using all the upcycle materials, all the boat, uh, living boats and boathouses or whatever. That is the, the way to manage waste and energy and water and just compost and growing their own food. It's, it's incredible. I, it's incredible. <laughs> I mean, it looks like, you know, it's messy, but everything has the purpose, whatever they have. Look at the boats serving as little benches. Yeah, and look at these pallets here. Yeah. There's a bunch of fresh pallets that were probably donated and they cut them up and store them over here. Mm -hmm. And then they probably build their railing system for their new porch for when the COVID restrictions break and the restaurant reopens. See those metal It's like, I don't want to end shooting the video. Oh man, look at these drums in here. They have drum sessions. Wow. for encounters and meetings and you can rent it use for meetings <laughs> for one euro yeah 
A little, a little bit of ingenuity and elbow grease. Yeah, they cut it into sections and then welded it back together to create other wings of the rooms. Signing off.